Trump is dictating everything that they do. Every mistake they make, it's because they're afraid of Trump. Here is Scott Walker. And yes, it is true, Scott Walker is not that bright. I mean, it's, it's like a well-established fact. That's fine. I'm sure we've had stupider presidents than Scott Walker in the past. It's possible. I don't think there should be a, a, an intelligence test for you to be president. And if Republican people don't mind that their president's not very bright, then that's fine. But this guy just keeps making uh, stupid error after stupid error on the campaign trail, making himself look like an idiot. And, and the reason why he's doing this is because Donald Trump. Donald Trump has, you know, they're talking baseball, I mean, not baseball, and basketball, uh, maybe hockey to a certain extent, that one team is basically setting the tone for the other like forcing them to play their game. That's what Donald Trump is doing. He's forcing all of them to play on uh, turf that they don't want to play on. That they are, the whole rules of the game are being written by Donald Trump, and they're trying to meander through. And so you get Scott Walker telling NBC something like this. I think we should make sure we have a secure border. But am I, why are we always talking about the southern border and building a fence there? We don't talk about a northern border. I, I was where if this about is it. about if this is about securing the border from is, from potentially terrorists coming over. Well, we want to build a wall north of the border. Some too? people have asked us about that in New Hampshire. They raised some very con uh, legitimate concerns, including some law enforcement folks that brought that up to me at one of our town hall meetings about a week and a half ago. So that is a legitimate issue for us to look at. There you go. We should really be considering building. Not just one wall, but two walls. Now, off the top of my head, I don't know how many times longer the border with Canada is than the border with Mexico. It's like, I think it's about 2,000 miles more. Um, <laughs> Build like a biodome. Yeah, I Build mean, like a biodome why would we stop at two walls? Why wouldn't we do four walls? Because if you built a wall on the Pacific, and a wall on the Atlantic. Okay, let's say you do this, like you'd take that you take those walls out, like I don't know, a mile and a half each, so that you know you can fish. And maybe you just do, I don't know, you do like a, you have a, somebody maybe who does like a little, um, you know, bridge, drawbridge, or you know, tunnel to let the fish in. And then you could also just keep building it. And if you build the walls, the north and the south, and then the east and the west. Then the next step is quite obvious, a huge tarp that you put over the entire country. And you could make it out of something like, I don't know, like Kevlar. I, all I'm saying is that we should consider that. We should consider that. Also, what do we do with Alaska? Okay, so we build a wall around Alaska. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're bound to have remnants from the Kevlar tarp, right? Because it's not like the country is shaped like a square, so there's going to be parts that you cut out. You <laughs> use that, you sew, sew that together, you use that for Alaska. Eh, simple. He, he, everybody, I think you guys, though, and Scott Walker uh, are missing an important point, which is that Canada needs to pay for that, man. Oh, definitely. And Russia is going to need to pay for the other one, and Donald Trump would take care of all of that. Yeah, you just need a good deal. You go in, you make a deal. You make a deal for you the... Say, we want deal.